And this guy, he can play. Oh, hello. Uh, don't you need to clear your throat a little bit? Carlos Alcaraz. Simply stunning. <laughs> we talk about a, a taste tester. Now, what's that? Is that the lift? Yeah, he's that wrapped up. Hamstring that's wrapped up there. Yeah. You don't usually see tape on him, do you? So how exactly is Matteo Arnaldi going to go about trying to beat Alcaraz and his coach, Juan Carlos Ferrero? Yeah, he's going to try and match him with the foul power of the forehand. Arnaldi is not afraid to come in. He's not as good in the forecourt as his opponent. Assets, but it's always worth reminding tennis fans how much he comes into the net. Yes. I think that's what's captured the imagination of our sport. He's not just a heavy baseliner. We know he's got the firepower, he's got the athleticism, but man, he's good in the forecourt too. Forty fifteen. Just having having a look back at the matches overall that he's played so far. Eight and a half sets. Don't forget there was a retirement against Dominic Kupfer. On average, he's coming in about 14 times a set, which I think is a great number, Mary. How many men have bigger numbers than that? I haven't been through the whole draw, but there's not many that are on double First digits game. per set. And then, you know, the important is to look at how successful he is. Well, he wins 71% of the points when he comes in. So that's a good return on that. Effect. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. I love that story. Beautiful. was delicious. I love 15. That's his parents in the second row. Alcaraz. And as Ferreira says of this young man, he has the ability to destroy the points. He also likes to make points. It's just raining down four end winners of all Love wings. This, this is not a bad shot, right? This is just otherworldly, though. Geometric perfection. that play. I love that play. Such a good way of creating instant pressure on the server. Taking that B 
backhand early, pulling it back up the line. A couple of the players, the Italian players, were telling me this guy's an absolute animal in the gym. First in in the morning, last out at night. 40, 30. 129. And an easy 129. He's not coming out of his shoes to hit it there. Such an important opening service game just to settle himself into the match. one in the world and only it's only the fifth ranked Italian Italians are producing a lot of good players at the moment and some young ones too you've got Sinner, Mazzetti Sona goes in there a yeah. little older but Matteo's young too I mean how about Berrettini hurting himself again this poor this poor Mook can't stay healthy. Oh, man. Just when he was playing the best tennis of his life. Matteo Berrettini. <laughs> well, both players showing some wizardry early on. Serio. This feel here is exceptional. He's taken out the lob wedge and clipped it magnificently. Ah, oh, it's down to the level of the ball. That was a lovely camera angle. For a second there, I thought he had him.
You see the reaction of Mateo there, Jimmy. 15 left. Yes. Of course, if you're not too familiar with your American sports, plays for the Miami Heat basketball team. And apparently, so I'm told, he almost carried them to the finals last year. Is that true? He's good. Yep. And uh, Francis Chiafo is good buddies with him. He loves Coco Golf. They're both still alive. Very much so. Oh. Better believe that he'll be around when Tiapo plays his next match. Against Ben Shelton. Two Americans with big games and big dreams, Robbie. Yep. Another American, Taylor Fritz, plays Novak Djokovic. Through four games, Arnaldi has more winners than Alcaraz. And a reminder, usopen.org, it's a good org. <laughs> it really is. As orgs go, you want to go to that one. And you'll find out that Coco Golf had to go the distance before pulling away from Caroline Wozniacki and now plays Ostapenko. 15 left. Who took out Igor Shriantel. USOpen.org will catch you up on the draws. There will be a new women's champ. Alcaraz trying to hold on to his title from last year here. So we're looking at his left leg. We see that it's taped. And yeah. it hasn't been this whole tournament, right, Robbie? So is it going to show up on his serve? How worried are we? That's, that's Mateo's group, huh? Yep. So his uh, girlfriend in the front row there. Coach and physical trainer. Oh. Two double palms from Alcaraz against one ace. Oh, he just didn't pick that up at all. Yep. 30-15. Perhaps didn't think that one was coming over. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good idea, folks, if you're watching at home. The importance of the accuracy of the serve. You can look in the background there, it's only 108 miles an hour, but because it was so accurate, it ends up being so much more effective. Always nice when you get those unreturns when serving.
terrific firepower from both. But the Salcarez, 3-2. Three games to two for six. You see how being on the world's number one. Crowding that second serve. Drawing the arrow. Big and missed. I love the team. Ben Stiller loves his tennis, doesn't he? Can't kick him loose either. No. We see him in Indian Wells almost every year. There's the Wimbledon, too. Ben Stiller was even out on the practice courts, watching Francis Tiafo practice, watching Coco out there. Love I mean, that's some that's some serious fanning. <laughs> First break points of this opening set. Fifteen. Wouldn't realize this break point looking at that expression. The smile is one of his superpowers. It really is. 30 40. He says, Smiling for me is the key of everything. It's a little unlucky for Arnaldi. Two shots that he missed to get behind the eight ball at Love 40. It's always going to be tough against Alcaraz to get out of that hole, but Camoso close. was out of this world. <laughs> Let's see it again. How did he do this? 15 left. This is Hogwarts stuff. That's what this is. That is quite extraordinary. The feel, the vision, and of course, the execution. Started out playing very well in this encounter. I mean, he is not far away from being in that red zone, red lining.
30 that is so clean. And how ready do you have to be for something you can attack against Algarans? How alert, opportunistic. Yep. I think that's what the best players do. Is anything that is short and central, they make you pay more than the guys that are ranked lower than them. And I think it works its way down incrementally on the rankings. So that sounds right. Yep. A lot of people always turn towards the spectacular shots, but the spectacular shots, Mary, are few and far between. Within Except when we're watching him. Yeah, <laughs> but, but even still, you know, you're going to get a lot more short central balls. And, and how much damage can you do when you get those? That's the key for me. And the top three will hurt you nine times out of ten. Those ranked from 40, four to ten, maybe only eight and a half. And then as the rankings go down, I'm a big believer that a player ranked 100 in the world won't take advantage of that situation as much as the, the better guys. Alcaraz leads five games to two, first set. Robbie, I'm going to ask you what I tend to ask anyone. I mean, this is big from Alcaraz, but even bigger. He's the first to applaud the quality of that shot. See if Alcaraz can put this opening set on ice. Very Italian. Yeah, <laughs> demonstrative. <laughs> it's a sign that he's got belief, right? He's not settling for anything less than the best. That's 
at second serve speed. Wow, 111 miles an hour. This is younger brother Jaime. He's good too. Oh yeah, it's like winning all over Spain in the 12 and unders. Yes, I mean, technically so proficient in the forecourt. We've highlighted that already. He's been he's been coming to net since he was eight years old. Yep. Lobbing, drop shotting since he first started this, this game. That flies wide. Well. Never faced a break point. Wins the first set in 32 minutes. Yikes. Arthur Ashe Stadium cheering on both guys. You hear chants in Italian and Spanish. A little bit of English every now and then, too. Packed house. Just got on a rope, hasn't he? 30, it's just such great discipline with the shot making. It's so low to the slice. It's just a tsunami-sized wave of attack that just keeps coming at you. Don't you get the sense, Robbie, that he kind of wants to keep hitting in these rallies? <laughs> hey, oh, good, you got that back. Okay. I get to smash again. Yeah, I'll show you. Yeah. And this is a very different break to the one that we saw in the opening set. He has taken Mateo by the scruff of the neck. And
Virgilia. I just forgot the top spin on that one. That's an unusual miss. Always making eye contact. Albert Molina to his right, his agent. Part of the IMG group is Alcaraz. They're part of his group. 30-15. <laughs> That is Alcaraz's older brother, front right. It's such nice words to say about. After the Cincinnati final, he was in tears talking about his brother. 14, 15. Now he's always on the road with him, traveling with him, being a, a pillar of support. It's a remarkable match he played in one against Novak Djokovic just a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, that's Alvaro Alcaraz, the, the older brother. Say Novak. Just that one. Mm -hmm. When these two played, when Alcaraz played Novak 14, in the, the final, this guy hit twice as many winners as Djokovic. Yep. That's, that is quite something. And Novak has nothing but praise for how good this guy is, how pleasant he is, how joyful he is. Yep. And Alcara. He's all business today. This is as good as I've seen. He is the conductor Alcaraz today, love, and he has Arnoldi dancing to his tune. What a combination of shots. His forehand drop shot doesn't even have to be as good as his backhand drop shot, right? Yeah. Because his opponents are afraid of his forehand. Mm -hmm. They're already on their, their heels, waiting for the fearsome forehand to to be unleashed and then he does that and he disguises it so well so it makes it doubly tough 15 left why he kind of feels like he should be called Carlitos. But his game is too big for Carlitos. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Huh? I like that a lot. <laughs> Carlito. No. Those are words. <laughs> Carlos. 30-15. Nothing. Ah. Serial. I mean, he's a skill merchant. He's got it all. Let's for service. Too good. Oh. 
40 Looking 30. Really nice job of getting behind that ball, didn't he? work from Matteo Arnaldi. But boy, is he down the set. Alcaraz leads two games to one. Second sets, and by one set to love. Just got to stay with him, right? Absolutely. The funny thing is... Just got to keep holding. As well as Alcaraz is playing. Seats quickly, please. Thank you. And as good as that return is, he is so ready for it after he's hit the serve just to keep his opponent under pressure by taking that first strike early, redirecting so well. Always under the pump when you're playing him. Unforced Terrace, both with 10 unforced, but Alcaraz just that one more winner, 11. Out 30 15. Effectiveness of the first serve for Carlos has been right up there, 81% for the match so far. of Carlos Alcaraz on full display. how well he is playing at the moment. Alcaraz leads three games to one. Just a Second smorgasbord set. of shot making, of feel, touch. We've seen it all. This is what I love about Arnaldi. He is not going to back down. He might be getting body blow after body blow, but he is going to swing too. And he's going to swing with some serious power.
This is why I want Arnoldi to stick around. I feel like Alcaraz is playing 30, right at the very top of his game. And I feel there is going to be some sort of drop-off. And I want Arnoldi to be there when that happens. Double break, it's not going to happen. That's why he's got to keep it just to the single. Still trying to loom large in the rear view mirror of the Spaniard. And the big breakthrough match for Arnoldi. Who was in Madrid earlier this year. Had 45 winners against Casper Ruud. That's when he really grew in confidence and belief. <laughs> if he wins this point. Very nearly did. Oh, it is so easy on the eye, and the feel from both is exquisite. So cunning. All that effort for nothing. what you wanted to see, Robbie. Arnaldi holds. He's still in trouble. Big trouble. Alcaraz leads three games to two. Second set, ten by one set, two long. Yeah, that was the, the man. Up a set and a break. Let's... He's got to take the net out of play there. If you miss, miss long. Got to get by that first obstacle. struggling to make any inroads on the Alcaraz surf. He's only been able to win three points against it in the set. That are for the chosen few, this guy. Rocking the house at the moment is Carlos Alcaraz. Oh. 
All right. Those last four hands submitted without comment. Fifty no. That is out of order. But you can hit a tennis ball that hard. Multiple times. I love this guy's attitude. He is not going to take it lying down. Everything that Alcaraz is throwing at him, he is trying to give it back in spades. As long as he can keep it just to that one break, he'll harbor ambitions of getting back into the set. Monstrous four ends of his own. the good fight isn't it Alcaraz leads four games to three second sets and by one set I've seen him play consistently I thought the opening two sets against Djokovic were very up and down I went back and watched that match again You're talking Mary. about the Cincinnati Cincinnati, final. Cincinnati final yeah yeah I think it was brutal in so much as the conditions played their part but you know I scored every game out of ten I went back just to to get better perspective on it and it's only towards the tail end of the second set that the level really start to to become elevated the tie break there and then opening a couple of games of the third set it was okay but then it went ballistic after that oh, if you went back and scored every game yeah and you're not you're that nerdy well only because social media was Holy moly. blowing up about it was an absolute classic. Oh, I see what you're saying. And, okay. I, and I thought, is it? I was actually discussing it with Ivan Lubacic at the time. We were texting back and forth, and, and he was agreeing with me. And I thought, hang on, have we seen it right? Mm. Close doesn't always mean great. Long doesn't always mean great. Absolutely, Mary. 15 30. How about this? Just what you said could happen, has happened. A chance for Arnaldi. He has not yet had a break point. worked so hard to stay in the rally and then such a basic area. Daniel.
don't understand Four those two misses. The size of them. Just wonder if that extreme grip, you know, you get it wrong by one or two, one or two strings and it looks terrible. Especially when you're swinging the racket head that quickly. Once again, the feel in the full court is magnificent. Advantage, Alcaraz. And he had to do a lot there. Fourteen of twenty points won at net for Carlos. Oh, so close to getting back in the set. Alcaraz leads five games to three. Second set. Just needs to polish up a couple of those forehands and he would have been in business. Suddenly that scoreline looks very lopsided. Be very proud of their boy. And for me, more so the type of character that he is rather than the type of tennis player he is. Just a, a solid young man. of a player who wants to see his opponent try and serve out the set. I want another crack at Alcaraz. That was the kind of shaking of the racket. Oh. It's the kind of fight Dan Evans put up on this court in the last round. It was impressive. As a two-time US Open champion on the golf course, Ratif Huesen, my fellow countryman.
Yes. for Alcaraz too. Thank you. I would not have been surprised, Robbie, if that had gone in. I know. <laughs> that's the, that's given, the thing. Given what we've seen in the last hour and 11 minutes, I mean, anything's possible. This return would have been long. Yeah, he's outfoxed him. He didn't think he was going to serve him volley there. <laughs> he's taking it well. Yeah. You got me good there. Exactly. <laughs> Sets. I mean, come on. Alcaraz leads two sets to that. Thank you. 
Keeping an eye on Andre Rublev, the eighth seed, facing a world number one for the first time. In fact, it only won one hard court match, speaking of one. I don't think it's going to be this one for the second. Coming into the US Open at tour level. And that was in Canada just a few weeks ago. So getting a fay with this particular surface is the Italian. And I tell you what, he's done a good job in the opening eight days of the US Open. Clearly, he's going to be better off for this experience. But again, I have to circle back to his attitude. It's not the attitude of someone who's just happy to be out here. I get the feeling that you know, he wants it to be competitive. He wants to win. He's not making up the numbers. And we've seen some gestures to tell in the opening set, midway through the second set, where he's so annoyed that he is not in this fight because he believes he should be. But the man on the other side has just been simply stunning. I think it won't be a problem if Arnoldi can stick around is the physical battle. Mm. He will back himself to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. But, of course, the big challenge is staying out on the court long enough to make that happen. Oh. Arnoldi, two years older than the 20-year-old Alcaraz, but he looks more boyish, doesn't he? Yeah. Looks kind of junior-ish. Arnaldi's coach sitting in uh, his box, Alessandro Petrone. Love so he vividly remembers a rainy day. Front left there. A rainy day in San Remo about three years ago during the, the pandemic. When he looks out his window and he sees this young kid running along the road by the ocean in the rain. And he thought, wow, well, this kid's amazing. He's running Love outside in the rain during COVID times. It's when he knew that there was something special in the DNA of Arnoldi. And he said, that's what gave me the trust in him. Great points from Matteo Arnaldi. Let's see what he does with him. Italian.
Love 15. He could have done about 47 different things with that shot. Carved under it for the winner. Spirit, this is being played in. How did he get back this lob, right? That's a hell of an effort. Love the team. I mean, you know how quick you got to be to run down a topspin lob. Yeah. And the dexterity in his wrist to get that back in play. Alcaraz appreciated it. Yeah. Alcaraz smiled. <laughs> this kid is. Oh, boy. Such a glad-hearted competitor, the Spaniard. Yeah, there's a lovely article. Um, 15.30. The US Open, it's titled Meet Arnaldi, the smiling Italian, ready to take on Alcaraz. So it's well known. He's very well liked around the locker room. Is Arnaldi. Of course, everybody knows Alcaraz, but he's cut from a similar sort of cloth as Arnaldi. Oh. He loves hitting them. The man doesn't mind a lot. 15 40. He's one of the best at taking on second serves and attacking them, creating that instant pressure. It's so annoying when someone does that. They're in your grill and you feel it. <laughs> Everybody plays a set point that way. Well, the raw athleticism <laughs> on display here is something 30, else. 40. The joy of youth. <laughs> That's right. Bristling with enthusiasm. You, please. If that doesn't get the blood coursing through your veins, I tell you what, you're pretty hard to please. That was beautiful from both. Got him. How happy is Matteo Arnaldi to be one half of this match? Oh, and he's playing his part. Let's not yes. forget about that. And how's the vision here for the around the net shot? Check this out. You little beauty, bon appetito. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Advantage and a lead. And, there's a and they're enjoying it too. Everybody's loving it at the moment. How can you not if you're a fan of the sport? Use. 
They're all sitting a little bit more uncomfortably now than what they were in the opening two sets. That was the Alcaraz kick. I'd like to see their man get back on track right here, right now. Some of these unforced errors. But doesn't Alcaraz force the unforced? Of course, his, his off the ball movement is good, but Arnaldi shall back himself to make those. And that goes on. Uh, Miss hit, hits in the print. Alcaraz. It's too off. Alcaraz already up to two sets. Two set sets. And there it is, usopen.org. Go to that app. Find out what's going on all over the place. What's already happened, what will happen. There's a great article on the usopen.org app today. Eight ways to say I love you without using the word love. Very good. Okay. Also tell you how to clean your drapes at home. <laughs> USOpen.org. <laughs> All your needs. behind Arnaldi in a hurry. He's still got a racket on him. Just a pretty clean strike. <laughs> it was pretty good. He just watched it himself on the big screen. Arnoldi, Alessandro Petrone, front left there of your screen. Just yeah, squirts it over. Forty fifteen. You got to protect against all that forehand pace, and then he. Just barely breathes it over for a winner. A very popular individual here, owner of a very well-known Italian restaurant where all the, the players love to go and dine. Yeah, Berrettini, I think, discovered that restaurant. Yep. And now they all go, and this guy, Berrettini's long gone, but... I saw him at Arthur Fisa's match as well against Arnaldi. He was there, that gentleman. Oh, 
And Malcaraz. <laughs> Alcaraz has up two sets and he's taken back the third. Alcaraz leads three games to two, third sets, and by two sets to left. I mean, come on. How many winners do you have to strike against this guy? Players would even have chased after that lob, Robbie. Yeah. Not many. You let that one go. Yeah. He likes to show off. Fifty no. And at the same time, it's just part of his repertoire. He just, he has such an amazing palette of, of shots. Oh. That in itself makes it so exciting to watch him. Fifteen thirteen. There's the crush and rush. Coming seven times in the set as Alcaraz, and he's won all seven points. Oh, the athleticism of both these players is just phenomenal. It wasn't an easy smash. Commanding, and he's also cunning. His coach certainly seems to be enjoying the contest, and why not? 
This child has given a good account of himself so far. Let's. It's a big forehand in the Three big apple. Third sets. He clocked there. <laughs> yes, he did. Not miss by much. Just needed a couple more revolutions of topspin to get it to dip down. <laughs> Forty. I mean, these fans—they're almost stunned. Yeah, I don't think they realise how good this shot is. <laughs> That is beautiful <laughs> beyond belief. The, I think they're still trying to get over, Robbie. Yeah. This place has gone quiet. In awe. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Malcaraz. More sense, please. New balls. A couple of games Malcaraz away from the quarters. Four games for three, third sets, and by two sets to love. the third <laughs> yeah. how dare you serve it love 15 <laughs> he's trying to wipe a smile off his face it's well mannered Fifteen on. Thirty fifteen. One more point 
and Alcaraz will serve for the match. Still wants to break him right here, doesn't he? Prowling for the serve. starting to like this guy, not only for his great play, but the fact that they get to see more of Carlos Alcaraz. Yep. They want more match. And so does this guy. He's had one look to break Alcaraz, and he got it. Alcaraz has broken the Italian four times. for him. Good for him. 15-13. Always got to be so careful when you approach to the forehand. The, the cross court. Players are so good with their running forehands these days. This guy is no exception. This is exactly what we were talking about, Mary, the disguise. You're expecting him to just 
gas that forehand. He's, he's got the extremes of that shot, the deft touch, as well as the raw power. And it'll send you into a spin if you're not careful. What a smart volley. A lot of players would have gone to the open court there. 40 30. And he's got finishing skills from everywhere on this court. Yeah. And then you couple that with choosing the right shot. It's a deadly combo. Here he comes again. Rimuel from the quarterfinals, the defending champ, looking even better than last year. Alcaraz leads five games to four, third sets by two sets to look. he plays these kind of matches at this level you know the better his decision making will become so just let him down on occasions not often but just enough to, to perhaps cost him this one how far do you think Arnaldi can go I mean clearly he's no, got to get bigger stronger well, he's got the firepower. It's not like he doesn't have the firepower, Mary. I mean, yeah. you have a look at the average forehand speed. It's right up there with, with Alcaraz's. But I just think he's got to get better at the decisions that he makes in important stages and sets. I think that's the big one for me. Three sets to love. Six three, <laughs> six three, six four. What a tremendous tournament for Matteo Arnaldi. What an experience. He's dropped just one set to get to the quarters. He didn't drop one today. Got it done in under two hours. people very happy with that performance it was pretty spectacular wasn't it right it certainly was authoritative artistic athletic that is what Alcaraz was today his brothers happy to see him safely through to the quarterfinal